there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time, is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. Jose Aldo Jr. has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. skill in the book, and the X Factor tonight is that has been in his book. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers, is what they call him. Islam Mahachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbula. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbula's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev set to fight Jose Alba. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, third Three party fights. in the octagon Three. tonight. Three. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo world champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Both are still truly trying to find their range. Foot. That's a solid kick right there. So there it is. As he expected, the takedown defense would be there. The kickboxer able to thwart that first offering by the rest of the night. Fights come down to moments, J.A., and that's a big moment for the kickboxer. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 
While not a guy you want on top of you, ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Alden. Beautiful ground strikes landed. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Makashev's in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Lands a nice punch from his back. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh! Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Oh, a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Gets he jump. Oh, yeah, it's a fight here. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Points out for the end of round one. All right, buddy, sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, we probably lost that round. The only reason we lost it is because you're waiting on him. I need you to be full. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round of the previous round. He rocked his opponent through the field to see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent not too bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he will find himself on the wrong side of a knockdown. Drop that guard. Let's go. Create some space. Be responsible. This is where he wants to be. Constantly a moving target. Nice shot there by the champ. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Makashev's back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Scramble, scramble, scramble. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate after exiting the clinch. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Another big kickback. Beautiful reversal on the ground. There it is, now he's going to the bottom. 
All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Makashe. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he has hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Look, you're being overly aggressive right now, okay? You're being way too hyper on this fight. I need you to calm down. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back. Cash. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. to avoid the right. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down from the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Don't you know that's it? That's right. That was a slick transition. He's got to be careful here. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, well, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Big shot lands for both guys. Able to block that one. Big right hook there by the champ. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lamakashev gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Well, I am not going out on the limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad... Look at it, oh, oh, stop oh, me, well. oh, my goodness. What a fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. 
All right, so you heard it there from Bruce, and we've heard it before, Jose Aldo, your winner by TKO. Jose Aldo is just good. I mean, he can do everything really, really good inside the octagon. Once he had his opponent hurt, he found the kill shot, gets the TKO victory. I mean, most people would just like to be as good at one <laughs> thing as Jose Aldo is at fighting. Tremendous TKO, and as many of you know, his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame.